So that's time. And uh, remember, I'm talking just a couple of years after the end of the last World War, 1947-ish. Um, we, were, uh, we didn't do any science at all until you were age 15. At that point, you, were, you had your introductory first uh, term lesson in biology. And I was um, bottom of the bottom class, bottom in the whole year in, in achievement in, in biology. So I was worst out of 250 students at the time. So they put on a, a relatively inexperienced teacher. In fact, I think he wasn't a teacher at all. He's probably a museum curator. Um, and the problem was that he used to um, dictate to the end of the room. He'd sort of look at the ceiling and dictate to it. And I was no good at taking notes. And there were no textbooks. So you, you go away, and then you try and read your notes and remember what he might have said. The next lesson, you come in again, look at the ceiling and say, get out your notebooks, 50 questions, question one, two, three, up to 50. I couldn't answer any of these questions. So he comments that I scored two marks out of 50, I think, on one such test. Um, but I couldn't handle that kind, of, um, that, that kind of teaching. And so he gave this crippling report um, you may have, have noticed things like any thought of Gurdon being a scientist is completely ridiculous and this would be total waste of time on his part and on those who would have the job of teaching him. So that terminated completely my whole science training at that point. No more science for you, they said. You're, that's clearly, you're, you're hopeless at that. If you're really interested in something, keep going. Don't, don't give up just because the teacher doesn't think you're much good.